So this is one of the car dealership at uh, from East Legon. I'm sure this one is <laughs> in Ghana. We can we can call this as luxurious cars. Yeah, because those small small vets and code they are not your guy. And so what you can see first here, you can see the Jeep. You can see different type of cars here. Yeah, I'm sure uh, kind of like Toyotas are also part. Uh, okay, I, um, I can see Lexus. I can see Honda. This is Lexus, Lexus over there. I can see Honda or Hyundai over there. So it's actually uh, luxurious cars that are over there. Uh -huh. So you can see that. Um, these are nice cars over there. These are nice cars over there like that. Uh huh. I'm sure this is a different car, car dealership. There are, there are two different types. I don't know whether there are two different type of car dealerships. But they seem to have similar type of cars. Yeah. If you want to buy a car, you can come here. Okay, I can see Hyundai over there. I can see Lexus. Uh huh. So. If you want to buy or sell a car, this will be a good thing. Somebody will ask him. You can see the people that are making noise. So, I've actually walked from American House and I've gotten to this side. I'm actually walking to the N1 road. I don't know if it's the same road that you guys call from. Accra going to Medina. Is that the same road you guys call N1 Road? Yeah, so I'm walking from I've walked from American House going to that side and I think I've exercised enough today. You understand? Man, I've really walked. I've really walked. Wow, this is a very long car. So you can see like plenty of restaurants, restaurants, restaurants. But in all what we can learn is that we can learn that Ghana is a peaceful place. That I can literally walk like this with my phone, making videos and nobody start comes to attack me. Here's another Osekrom Eduane Pafie. So there's another restaurant here. This is so beautiful. That is from the N1 wood. You come from the N1 wood there about. You drive just two or five minutes, two to five minutes, and you reach here. Is this another Ghanaian restaurant? It's called Eduani Pafie. Uh huh. So I'm sure it's nice. The branding and then how established it is. This is so nice. So, business are going on. Businesses are, are going on. Even if you have a small shop here, you are running a small business, people will still come and pack and buy water. They will come and buy a little bit of the things you sell. Yeah. So, I would say, in all, it's good news. If you are Abura Plaza, if you are Abura Plaza, uh, Abra hey, Plaza. Some of us we didn't learn tree in school. So we, we can't force ourselves to mention it the way you want. Well this is a very nice place. I'm sure it's a place where there are shops at the ground floor and offices on top. And probably some of them could be apartments. So GM Plaza is also here. Uh, I'm sure this one is also same story. So ground floor here, you can see that they are dealing in interior designs, like interior flowers for designing your room. Kind of, and then the lighting. Yeah, lights to design your room and stuff here, I'm sure. So, you can see what I'm seeing. So basically, 
We are on the main road right now. We are heading to the N1 road. We are heading to the N1 road. We have another restaurant here. It's also called Delish Restaurant. Oh man, like this night, as if I came here to do adverts for restaurants. It's crazy. It's just crazy how there are lots of restaurants in Accra, Ghana. Wow. Can see? A nice restaurant also. So basically, we are heading to the N1 road. And I must say, today I've really walked. I walked very long distances. Made very long videos for you. This is a very nice home. You can see. And these are just offices. You can see clothing office. Half seconds. Understand. So basically, lots of infrastructures are going there. How you going to call Jackie D your uh, cafe? Okay, it's just a kind of like a, a Chinese Chinese cafe. And they've written on it Jackie D cafe. So, in all, basically, you can see that there are shops, there are businesses, there are companies, there are offices. They are nice buildings. So, this is a very nice building over there. You can see some here. Let me show you this. This is a very nice, beautiful ADB. Is it ADB GH Medicals? Uh -huh, it's a very nice building over there. And you have the Adansi travel to, travel house. I saw the the same thing over there at the top from American House. They have Adansi travel house over there, and here they have another branch here. So I'm sure they are really doing well here. Yeah? I don't know though, but to have an office in, or two or three offices in this location means that <laughs> your travel your traveling agency is really doing well. Yeah, because if you can't make enough, you can't have enough. If you are making enough and you're able to afford offices in this location, that means that your business is actually doing well. So basically, we are on the main road. And opposite or where you are seeing right now is the stadium, the Legon Stadium. And when we get there, I'll show you the Legon Stadium. Are you going or are you standing? Yeah. So, a very nice mosque over there. We have a heart clinic here. I'm sure they are specialists in heart diseases, kind of. Yeah, biomedical service. That's what they call it. Closer to this location, they have an eye clinic that is only for eye, and the same thing here. So, basically, that is how the world presents itself, how Ghana is. You watching Ghana from afar today, I brought Ghana closer to you through these simple and edited videos you're just going to see how the place looks like so as I tell you opposite me is a or where I am actually heading to is the uh, Legon Sports Stadium so kindly stay tuned because I'm about to um, show you how the Legon uh, Sports Stadium looks like it's actually I'm finished it's still under construction and it's doing really well a lot of people are hoping to you know go there to enjoy football matches and go there to have experience of how the stadium gonna look like 
Oh, there's another structure here. Oh, okay, it's a hotel, water. Supreme Fest Hotel. Can you see that? So... Thank you, through Ghana. So we are there. And one road right now. As a hustler walking from Accra, uh, American house straight to this place, making about four or five videos, long videos. That's the, around 20 minutes each. Yeah. So, we should tell you that ordinarily walking from that side to this place could take you more than more than 30 minutes yeah because i'm making video i walk slowly sometimes and that is why you have it like that so you can see where i'm coming from this is where i'm coming from you can see where i'm coming from uh -huh. and you can see where i'm heading to so here businesses are really going on a lot of businesses are running and can you see what i'm seeing that is the legon stadium ladies and gentlemen i'm showing you the legon stadium the legon stadium from afar because that's what i'm doing today i'm not going to take you very close but i'm going to show you that it has really improved they have worked on it they have put uh, the furniture the chairs in it they have put light and everything they have walled it Charlie, it's almost done. I don't know whether it is done or not. But just take a look, man. I don't want to be greedy. Oh, bam. You can see what I'm seeing. You can see what I'm seeing. Oh, damn. Do I need to get closer to show you better? Do I need to get closer to show you? To show you the see the stadium this is the legon stadium this is actually the legon stadium you can see how it looks like at night so beautiful the lighting system has already been done in a very strong way. Wow. So that is it for you man. Legon, Legon, Legonese. Or Legon people will boost. But this as if it is yes. Yeah, Lego Legon students will boost with this. They are really going to destroy other schools with this stadium. They will boost too. So this is from Accra uh -huh. and these are those from Legon Campus or Achimota and these are those from East Legon or Baoleshi area American House that is where I'm coming from and currently I am heading to Marina area uh -huh. so this is actually somewhere at Legon Legon 2nd or Legon 3rd huh? They're going second. So uh, today I've really walked very far. If Kai is not taking on my walk to Medina from here. Like I'm super strong that I don't feel tired. I don't know why. I haven't taken anything on. Just water, just water. So you can see at night that is how you always see things here at night this place looks very you know quiet but in the daytime this place is the busiest place you can ever imagine very busy the reverse is at night the place looks quiet though but people are still here though
so this is it i think i'll, I'll have to end the video here so that i'll enjoy myself with much rest so i could go home so thank you very much guys thank you very much guys thank you for joining kindly subscribe to the channel if you want to buy a land in ghana you want to buy a house in ghana kindly subscribe and kindly check the description of this video you get my number and you contact me i will help you get a registered land in ghana without any fear and if you want to buy a house too same so kindly check the description of this video you get my number and you contact me thank you very much assalamu alaikum guys